Hello, my name is Roman Ouvel. Today I will show you a quick overview of the urban energy platform Simstadt that we are developing since one year in the University of Applied Science Stuttgart. So Simstadt allows you to run a variety of different urban energy analysis which are organized in workflows. So let's make a quick demonstration. We'll create a new workflow, PV potential analysis. Let's give it a name. So in this workflow, we have to give, at the beginning, a CTGML file. So here we consider the file of Ludwigsburg Center. A workflow is composed of different workflow steps. It starts with an import of the 3D city models. Then we have a data pre-processing phase where the missing data, which are required for the analysis, are assessed. Here, in this workflow, we import a weather processor, a weather file, and we have a calculation of the radiance per facade of the building. Finally, it ends up with PV potential analysis. So here we see in the first module that we have imported more than 2,000 buildings with a level of details 2. Here we see the progression of the calculation in the pre-processing phase. We can get here some information about the wall orientation in the geometry preprocessor, for example, or the building height, also the building capacity, why not? Here in the weather processor, so we have used a data model which comes from Inzel, but we can use another weather data set from PVJS or from a metronome file. So all the module works the same. Here in this part, we define the parameter which are used to run the modules. And in this part, we visualize the results of the modules. In radiation processor, we can see the irradiance for <coughs> all the roofs and surfaces of the district here. Finally, we can visualize for the whole district which roof are suitable for previous installation depending on some criteria here. So for example, we can fix a minimum uh, insulation for the installation of the roof. So here you can see you have more roofs which are green, which are suitable for PV installation. We can have also the PV <coughs> energy yield for all this roof, as an example. <coughs> so here, this is the first workflow that we can run with Simstadt. I will show you another workflow. This is the workflow heating demand. So heating demand reuse some modules of the PV potential analysis and add other one, like the module building physics here, which rely on the building physics library, and the module building usage, which are included all in the data preprocessing. We have also the same weather preprocessor, radiation preprocessor, and at the end we have here you can see a uh, last module which is called monthly energy balance which is realizing so an energy balance according with the norm DIN 18599. So here we run the workflow. So I think we have uh, 1000 buildings so it takes a little bit time. We see the here the progression of the workflow. We can see in building physics, for example, <coughs> some information about the building physics parameter. For example, mean new value here. Or you can have also year of construction that you can see in real time. Or for example, other information like building type. So, one family house, multifamily house, row house, etc. So, it takes quite a long time. Let's go quicker. 
So now the whole workflow is run. And we can see we have actually the different results in the last module. So here on histogram for the whole district, so we can have maybe a more precise information here. So we can see with a peak around 150 kilowatt hour per square meter per year of specific heating demand. We can also visualize the results here, for example, in, <coughs> in this interface. You can have also, if you want to show some anonymous information, you can propose an urban raster with varying pixelization. Here, for instance. Or you can have also a density map here, where you can set, for example, the maximum of, of the heating density. Here. So this can be very useful, for example, if you want to know where it is profitable to, uh, to extend a district heating network, for instance. So this was uh, the second workflow, heating demand. We have uh, other workflow, like for example, city emission, where you add, uh, in addition, another module in the data preprocessing, which is energy systems. Here, so in this module's energy system, <coughs> as we often don't have the information about the heating systems for each building, but we have generally some proportion for the whole district, you can here indicate in percentage the proportion of the different energy system for the whole city. For the whole, uh, city yeah? And this is, um, the data are generated in a probabilistic way. And you can have at the end, here's the environmental analysis with so the CO2 and primary energy uh, <coughs> results. And you can have also, this is one of our last development, this is refurbishment scenario. And this is this new module, actually, which is new. And you can see here, you can add a new scenario. So let's call it refurb one. And you can detail, actually, for example, a yearly rate between a base year and a time horizon. For example, here, for the, last, for the next 20 years, you define <coughs> a scenario, so it's according with, for example, building typology, and you can say, OK, all my family house here, all my family house will be refurbished with 3% per year for the next 20 years, <coughs> for instance, okay? And then you can say if you consider 3% of the building number or 3% of the heated area, so why not heated area? And you can also set the priority criteria for this refurbishment. So it could be random or it could be the older building first or less efficient building first, or it could be a customized index given by the city. So this is how it works or workflow, how it works, or Simstat front end. For, I told you about the different Billings physics library. So we create editor, actually, to edit this library and create some variant of refurbishment, for instance. So I will show you quickly library editor. This is our library editor. Let's import the German building library. So it's based on data from the Tabula European project. And the buildings are classified in ring type and building year class. So it's not, of course, uh, still uh, completely developed. But you can see here, for example, for this building typology, single family house built between 1860 and 1918, you have the different information, for the general information, information about shell properties, grant, top selling, etc. And all these construction types are defined here in this part. You can see for out walls, for ground shell, for pitch roof, and for top selling at the end. So you can edit them. This library is protected, but for example, you can eventually edit it, and for example, if you want to add 
an insulation in your wall. So let's consider insulation here. Let's add uh, some polyurethane, for example. So you just select and you drag and drop. And here you have a new insulation layer. So it works like that. And so that, in this way, you can uh, so develop some variant, refurbishment variant, like medium refurbishment, advanced refurbishment, or only any other variant. So let's call it customized refurbishment. So has to plan a customized uh, refurbishment strategy for the next years for a district. So it was just a quick overview of what we can do for the moment with Simstadt. This is just, uh, we are at the second year of development and we hope to provide uh, further workflows in the next uh, months. Thanks a lot for your attention.